Now to a new generation of astronauts that will help NASA pick up where the Apollo missions left off five decades ago. The Apollo 11 mission, of course, was the first to put humans on the moon. Now this is the crew that will be taking us back. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker tonight with the big Artemis 2 announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your Artemis 2 crew. NASA is planning to go back to the moon and then beyond. It's been 50 years since humans stepped foot on the lunar surface with the Apollo mission. In 2025, with Apollo's female Greek twin Artemis, NASA plans to send a male and a woman to step foot on the lunar surface. Together we will usher in a new era of exploration for a new generation of star sailors and dreamers the Artemis generation. Together, we are going to the moon, to Mars, and beyond. In order to complete that mission, they'll need these four astronauts embark on a 10-day mission, orbiting the Earth and moon to collect data for human exploration. Artemis 1, which successfully launched last November, proved that the Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft are safe enough for this crew. We need to celebrate this moment in human history. Pilot Victor Glover, Mission Specialist Christina Cook, Mission Specialist Jeremy Hansen with the Canadian Space Agency and Commander Reed Weissman were carefully chosen for the Artemis 2 mission. State lawmakers say it's important for the sake of history and the space race. Let me tell you something, it couldn't be happening anytime too soon because the Chinese, our adversaries, are already on the backside of the moon right now. I think when President Kennedy spoke of soaring to the moon, challenging us, uh, I do think that he must have had in his heart a changing America. There may be a little girl, a little boy who was watching this, who might be in another 20 years, standing on this stage in a blue jumpsuit. That's powerful, that's important. Director Weiss says there could be a final four appearance at tonight's NCAA championship game. Reporting from Rocket Park, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.